Hey, what's going on, guys? Donnie coming to you from Penguin Style Podcast Studio. Last time I was here it was episode number two twelve with my guy Alexis King live from Laguna Seca, and um, that was uh two months ago. All right, so obviously stuff has been wild, crazy, and everything. The stuff you see here on the table is actually a uh, product of the work that I put in the last couple months of the year to make things happen with the new wheel launch here, the three piece. Pink Star PS M915S. Subsequently, we got a few other wheels out there. Got my own shoe line here. Again, this is some stuff that other shops out there ain't doing. I got my suspension here. The brakes, I don't have the uh, my one of my props. One well, of the props are actually installed in the car, so I got to get some in-shop uh, props for the brake kits and stuff like that. So, um, you know, man, uh, one thing, I, you know, I was kind of like... Uh, I, Honestly, you haven't seen me because, uh, to be honest, I'm participation based, man. Uh, that goes from anything out there to uh, live events in the world, uh, to everything, man. And I haven't really, there's a few guys that's been watching and I know those guys are going to watch this. So they're cool. Uh, but I'm particip- participation based and, um, honestly not getting the numbers and everything. So. I'm not, I'm going to pull back time from things that are not yielding numbers. Obviously, I'm not, um, you know, people say, oh, you got to keep doing it and blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is episode number 213. Um, I already know my stuff's out there better than other guys. And this doesn't get or get that uh, pop because, again, I refuse uh, to do uh, things like that. I, don't, I refuse to do like clown stuff and blah, blah, blah and everything. So this is going to be a real one. Um, and this is not going to be no jovi- jovial and this is the new year, blah, blah, blah. So I want to. So my theme for this is the title you see right there is uh, New Year, Same Me. And the reason why I say that is because um, I don't get I don't subscribe to I, I actually hate this time of year uh for business sick because i'm still growing my business everything around october starts to slow down everybody starts to change money and start putting it into holiday stuff and you know it's in vain you know what i mean to me personally the way i run my life uh the way i actually kind of go back um i remember i was around about 14 13 or something like that and my mom just kind of stopped subscribing to like wasting money and stressing over the holidays and like it was good for her because actually we didn't care. All of my brothers collectively, uh, we just didn't care. My 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 other brothers back in the states running a clothing uh, clothing boutique, and uh, all my other guys are doing well. We just didn't really care about that, and it was it was strange to have all boys and they all really didn't care about having this net because we all got our stuff. We were all good in sports and did different things out there and 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 had uh, family support here and there. And everything. So, uh, with me, man, like the whole, you know, this new year, new me stuff like that, man, I, I didn't, my, it's 2024. I acknowledge that, but you know, for me, it feels the same. My grind is consistent. I didn't stop. Even though I turned off customers, I didn't stop. Like, I mean, I, I, there wasn't one day of the break that I wasn't doing anything. I was doing, you know, setting up websites, setting up things for the wheels, uh, emailing certain organizations setting up some other stuff got 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 some good news got some not so good news and uh, there will be some cool stuff going on for this year so i don't really i mean my mindset i'm already in 2029 28 27 i'm already there so if you're looking at you know it's just like you know i just got into motorcycles riding motorcycles you can't you know one you know one thing james you know, tell me, you know, you don't look, you can't look right over the fender and everything. And of course, shout out to A1 happening tomorrow all over the place. Mine is all over the place. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about my predictions for motocross for the guys who checked in for motocross because I did get some new viewers for that stuff like that. So, um, first thing, product placement. Again, I got my wheels. I got my suspension, got my, my shoes here. The shoes came about. Um, I got contacted by a company of live shoes. They see my stuff. They was like, Hey man, we think you should make some shoes. You got pretty cool style for the car and stuff like that. And I was like, hey, man, let's do it. And now I got my own shoe brand. And since October, when I got this one, I haven't I haven't worn another other than like my boot, my glosses for like the, uh, you know, rain and stuff like that, which I'll correct that and get my own rain boots. But that's the only I've, I've been wearing my own shoe line since October, man. And I want to kind of want to, you know, give some some tips and everything before I start rambling for the guys there who follow me, want to do do what I'm doing or think I'm doing like extraordinarily well. Um, it's real, man. I, I'm not going to tell you about how much I got my bank account, but uh, you'd be surprised. You know, what I mean, you, you see all the cars, you see all this stuff and people assume that people in business just got loaded, man. Like, yeah, we're, we're we got a lot of liquid stuff. But a lot of that money, it comes in. You can't sit on it. You you don't really get profits until you get everything set up. So um, it's always going to be – I was kind of apologizing uh, last year 
in previous uh, years for saying like I don't want to get too business. I'm a business, so naturally I'm going to talk about that. But I want to I want to kind of go over a, a couple things, give you guys uh, you know some 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 nuggets or whatever. All right. So the first product that I major product that I launched was my suspension right here. This arrived around 2002, 2001 ish, 2002, 2001 is was starting. 2002 they came out. All right. So this started from the. Uh, this product here is a result of the stimulus. I took the stimulus money. I put that money, both checks. I put that money into the uh, stocks. Made uh, made about maybe five hundred dollars. This is when everybody was a stock guru. Made about five hundred dollars, and then put that on. I put it up once I. I noticed I was playing with like chump change. And when you guys in the stock markets, unless like, you know, you want to do the penny stock stuff, I wasn't interested in that. I pulled out, I pulled the money out because I was like, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. This fan is going to go away, blah, blah, blah. And I took all the money out. So I was, um, I was, uh, working on one company. I was selling reaction coilovers and, um, nothing against reaction. I just want to do my own thing. So I was selling reaction coilovers and I was selling a lot of them, a good amount of them. But I wasn't selling them in bulk. And um, honestly, uh, once I started getting slow emails and slow returns back from the company, I didn't like that. So uh, this industry overall, the car stuff, this is a, a multi-million dollar, billion dollar leisure thing. And people do it. So cars don't have to go this fast. They don't, gotta, they don't have to have these wheels on there. They don't have to be lowered. They don't have to be raised. Car is in a nutshell, you know, was you know, as a mode of transportation nowadays and everything, uh, for the, for the most, for the, for the regular guy. So anyway, I took that money, invested and start working with this company, uh, manufacturer and, 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 uh, in Taiwan, you don't need to know the name, but manufacturer in Taiwan, where a lot of that, where 98% of all suspension stuff you see is made there. So I got with that company, I uh, came with my own stuff here, my Pinko style, uh, PS, O1TS uh, call over and I am looking for sponsored drivers for I'm actually looking for sponsored drivers for everything you see here shoes wheel suspension my brakes and uh, air cups I left those downstairs because they mounted on the car uh, but yeah man the stimulus this this is this was my stimulus right here my stimulus went into this so I sold a bunch of these marketed them marketed them put them on my cars put them on customer cars made the money so the money that I put in a stimulus i've already made that money back so what i did with do with that money i didn't take that money and go out in the town and buy dumb shit i took that money and then i started um i looked at, i put the money directly first into the wheels so i got the wheels which this is a three-piece model ps ONTS. took that money put it into the wheels then i took the money that i the one sale i made from the wheels because i've only made one sale to my guy ben collins for the wheels so far and I, that was a whole other thing. So, I mean, actually that actually I didn't make money from that because that was a promotional deal. All right. So I took the money from this, put that into the wheels, got the wheels developed, got the samples in, sent some stuff back and forth and blah, blah, blah. Then you've seen the wheels. So when you see the product for any company out there, they didn't just do this two weeks ago. This has been like sometimes years before you see that prototype. And sometimes it's like that because you, it's a double edged sword. You don't put it out there. Like, uh, well, I was going to do this first. And then you look like an idiot. So, like, out there, just, I tell the guys out there, I didn't reinvent anything. Only thing, only thing that's different about the suspension than other ones is the oil that I chose to run as a base. So, if you want to get into it and, and run different oils, you can do that, but that's a whole different thing. So, I got three different models. I got street. I got track, as you can see in the video right here. Street track. And I have the N2, which is nitrogen filled uh, expansion, th uh, a separate expansion tank for the guys who need that uh, that uh, double uh, rib. You got uh, two way adjustable. So this is only, of course, one way adjustable, normal suspension turned down. Then you got the uh, uh, rebound uh, adjustment and everything. So two way adjustable with the uh, nitrogen adjustment, the bottom adjustment, the top. All right. So with that, took the money, put it into the wheels. Then the shoes didn't. Um, I actually took some of the money that I actually got from one of the sales as a suspension. Uh, two sales of suspension, and actually, I bought um, I bought the the shoes, man, because I was like, I'm, I'm this is all Pinkle style stuff here. So I people say first and this, this, and this. I just posted up the cappuccino, right? The guy's seen. I posted up the cappuccino, it gets no pop. You know why? Because I'm not giving away nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing any of this crazy stuff that all these guys out there, all you, all the guys that you guys have followed there, the influencers, blah blah blah. Like, look, dude, let's let's break it down. All right, let's break it down. All these guys thrust thirst and, 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 and whatever for Japan. Right. 
and I live in Japan. I'm a I'm a uh, I'm the only American shop performance legal on mainland. That's that's two. I mean, right case in point in the world. Name me another performance shop that has a shoe attached to their brand. I got my own wheels, got my own suspension. I got all this other stuff, right? But then you see like the low levels of uh, return because you know it's not like it's not for me. It's not for like my personal ego. I don't need it. But for the business, like when you don't get clicks and likes, like that that results in the people not looking at your stuff, man. And so you see all that stuff. The analytics right there. Y'all study the analytics, and you see that. You know, you know, you're not getting that love, you know, the e-love, but then people, you know, I mean, you got products, right? And then guys, they buy all the other company stuff, right? And then when they see me in person, hey man, yeah, I was gonna do this, but all right, but I'm like, dude, don't, you know, don't feel like you have to explain yourself to me. And I said this a few times before on some small Facebook videos, like when you see me on the boat, man, don't feel like that. That's like a guilty thing. That's like a you problem. Like I, I'm gonna run my stuff. So I have I've sold one set of wheels. I sold a handful of sets of suspension. I sold actually a good amount of shoes. I, I, oddly, I didn't expect the shoes to be the one thing that people were going to buy the most of. And for each one of those shoes I sell, I only make $30 out of that. So that money goes to manufacturing, boxing, shipping, stuff like that. I didn't make the shoes to make like the, I didn't make the shoes for promotion. So that gets you into conversations with other people, other people with a lot of money, a lot of money and things like that. So when I sell, I'm, at, I'm currently at about 35 sales for shoes total. Once I hit 50 sales, that puts that that uh, opens up the eligibility for me to put in a package, which could potentially get seen by Vogue, GQ, and all these other magazines. So these are made, handmade in in Italy, uh, same manufacturing processes by Gucci and all those guys out there, Prada, blah blah blah. High quality leather, high quality stitching, handmade, handmade to my design to to right here. And um, we know when I sell a lot of these. You know, most guys, it's like when they get that, if they got contacted, it's like they didn't got nothing else going on. So with that, I got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff in the background. So when it, it proverbially pops for me, there's not like I don't, I'm not just getting started and starting to merge, and did, blah, blah, blah. I got my jackets here. I got, I don't do the shirt stuff because I don't want to invest money in it because honestly, it's a waste of money for me. Um, I'm not into the shirts. So I mean, I got the jackets or whatever and the shoes. And, um, with that, man, like, you know, with the, the stuff like that, the new year, new me, blah, blah, blah. Like, dude, just, just uh, don't lie to yourself, man. Out there, I'm, I'm speaking truths, man. I just, you guys see the cat. I, I listened to the Cat Williams uh, joint after finally like four days of everybody blowing it up. And I was listening to it while I was working. So I wasn't just watching the goddamn, you know, watching the podcast. I was listening while I worked on some other stuff here at the shop in, in the garage and everything, man. And, you know, Take it for there's some things in there. Of course, I caught some things he kept saying. Blah, blah. It was some contradicting things in there, but 98% of what he was saying was was true stuff. And you can speak like that when you like you like you said, man. When you're not attached under somebody's thumb, you're not attached. You're not somebody's puppet and things like that. Like you know, case in point, man. I'll be I'll be blunt. You know, I mean, I got a, a considerable amount of debt, which is normal for a business. Business actually, the numbers. Low, I talked to a guy and he's like, yeah, that's really not a lot. And when I look at the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot, but don't, you don't need to know the exact number. But if there's debt, business debts from buying machines, buying this, buying that, blah, 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 keeping the business open. And you got to borrow money. So I borrowed privately. I borrowed, I borrowed the money privately from people. I didn't want to borrow from any banks. And the people I borrowed from, they just wanted to see me succeed, man. So those guys out there, you know, I'll give a shout out to some of the guys, you know, that, that, are, that have been on the podcast, um, Joel, uh, Sprani. You got uh, Carlos uh, Lopez. You got a few other guys. You know, they might not want to be mentioned and stuff like that. You know, as far as business partners, you got uh, by, uh, uh, Raman uh, Razul at uh, Binal Japan and, uh, and and stuff like that. He's helped me out and assist me and things like that, man. So, um, you know, you, you can be self-sufficient and, and, and be on your own, be, be a by yourself, but your network of people who you can reach out to email is, is there and stuff like that. So I'm alone, but I'm not alone if that, if that makes sense, man. So again, I don't want to, I, I don't want to start this year with the same old bullshit. And this is the new year. New, no, man, it's going to be the same shit. You're going to do the same stuff you did the year prior. And this is 2024. And there's people still doing the same shit. So I mean, it's a good motivation. Our right, fresh start, blah, 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 but don't fool yourself. And then you get to January 22nd, you go back to doing the same shit you were doing five years ago or even worse. So you should be always going forward and everything. So that, I mean, so if you want to use it for that to, to pop yourself, my damn, I almost dropped my stuff there. If you want to use that to pop yourself up and, and, and do different things and whatever, whatever, whatever you got to do 
to make it happen for you, make it happen and do what you got to do, but don't lie to yourself, man. So again, this, this wasn't, um, it's, it's not gonna be a long one because I, I got some other stuff doing got got going on so i just want to get one in for the year um i'll talk to my guy lex and see how he's doing lex is going through you know lex got some stuff um going on and and i want to give him time and uh to get through that and blah 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 and um you know some other stuff and he's he's setting the stuff up so it, you know guys ain't seen you know what did you see lex time using the damn podcast hand to hand finally met you know and everything so everything is great there um, everything is good, man. But um, yeah, man, this it's uh, I just I'm I'm already again like I'm already in 2028. Um, again, if I if I just sat back and look at where stuff is right now today, um, you know, you, you could get depressed, man, because you got you know you got stuff outside the seas just ginning up. People are seemingly going ahead of you in drift world. You got 17 year olds winning championships and blah blah blah. And it's like, man, what the fuck is going on, man? Like you know, what I mean, I know I'm good at this, but it's like you gotta you gotta switch focus. And I see. And there's some guys that I meant mentor and actually I didn't, you know, you, you kind of become a mentor. You don't say, Hey man, you want to mentor me today? Okay. Well, you kind of be naturally become a mentor to some guys unless you're signing up for that, unless that's part of your program for your business. But there's some guys, man, that they, I see they want to do great things and, and they want to go high, man, but they don't want to sacrifice. And if you don't want to sacrifice and turn off like, you know, three to five, six years of your of doing other shit that you want to do for other people, just people to see you, then you don't really want to be successful, man. Like I stopped driving, uh, I stopped competing. Um, I stopped doing a lot of different things that were extra was taking away money from my business. So money, my business and keeping my family alive and fed. That's it. Um, other than that, I'm not, I'm not ending my time. I'm not, I'm not putting my time in. And I'm gonna put it in. Everything, everything has a purpose. Even the dirt bikes um, that I got into and stuff like that. Um, the dirt bikes I got into, and in, 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 you know, three years ago, um, that was that was that was so I can give back to my son, so I can know it, learn enough that I can, you know, teach them enough that you know, hey, you can do this, do that, and then if they want to go to the next level with it, they can get a coach and stuff like that. But like, I mean, you know, most. All people starts from their, their dads and the moms get them into dirt bike stuff like that, get them into racing stuff like that. Very dangerous sport, uh, expensive depending on how you run it, and more so like you know getting around and stuff like that, getting to the events and things like that, and all and naturally getting hurt and and and, and ultimately uh, uh dying. You know, I mean that that happens because I mean if you're thirty feet in the air and you come out thirty feet out there on on your head. It, it's not healthy for you, man. So, um, yeah, with that, you know, I'm not pushed. If they say they want to ride, you know, they want to ride. Cool. They know it's winter time. And like, you know, I, I'm not, I, we did the winter thing the first couple of years, uh, a week away to a thaw is out and everything, get them out there. And I don't want to get them out there in mud and stuff like that. Cause they're still young. And I don't think that's, you know, you can learn that skill later. That's just my personal opinion. Learn how to ride dry. And even me, I'm not, I was telling, talking to James, I'm, I'm not too big on do, doing mud stuff just for the sake of doing mud stuff. Like if it's, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, if you're training in it, you're training, I'm not, I'm not training to be a pro dry, pro rider, but uh, I'm, I, you know, I'm good enough to stay on a bike and things like that. So with that predictions on a one, um, I want to say, uh, you know, 450 class random again, uh, I would say like 450 class. So I'm looking at, um, top three, I'll say top five. I would say, uh, Tomac, Tomac potentially, uh, let's say top, top, let's say in order of finish, uh, for, uh, for Anaheim one, I would, I want to say, uh, Tomac, uh, Jet, Chase, Malcolm, and uh, potentially uh, and and Webb. Those are my top five. Uh, for uh for four fifty, for the two fifty, I'm gonna go with uh Joe, R J, and um. Let me see, Joe R J, and let's see, man, what's that? Actually no, it's just fucking. I'm I, actually I don't even man by bad. I don't even know who's on the fucking East Coast, man. I I kind of been off the thing, man. So let's say I don't know. I don't know the other guys too well enough in the in the uh, who's going to be on the West Coast. Uh, but um, I just say Joe. Joe's going to win, and, and 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 um, yeah. So yeah, my bad guys for that shitty shitty analysis. That's why I'm not on any dirt bike shows and stuff like that. But um, yeah, man, that's just like a tidbit for the guys who watch. Watch me for that. Now, as soon as I get out of here, I got to go and look who's in the West Coast. I just been so wrapped up with my stuff. I just seen some of the stuff, and I see all the Anaheim 1 stuff popping off. So I got to see who's officially on the West Coast. I don't like that they withhold information until, like, the last second. Like, I understand strategy, and 
I mean, whatever. But I mean, I, I would think that you got to register at least like what a month in advance before the event or whatever that you just can't get to the, the you know, the event's going to be tomorrow. Like, oh, we didn't go East Coast. You know, I know Deegan's on East Coast and everybody's, you know, looking out that, you know, that's strategic. You know, everybody, you know, Joe went back to West, blah, blah, blah. So Deegan's on East and he has a, a chance to actually win that. I mean, it would definitely be cool to, have, you know, Anaheim won is like that event. And so I think the, the, the thing they're going to probably do is, you know, he's going to win East. And then he's gonna do West next year, so there'll still be it'll be even bigger pop when he does Anaheim one because he's coming to Anaheim one as the defending champ. Uh, the, the he's a defending two fifty champion. Well, defending he's the the um. How did they break it down? Yeah, so it is East West, and uh, there's only one champ. So essentially, it goes into the points and stuff like that. So you know, you got all that stuff going on right there. So, yeah, man, uh, it's kind of weird how they do that with that, with the points and all that stuff breaks down and blah, 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 and who's doing what and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it would be kind of cool, uh, to see him win on, win the uh, East coast and then go from there and, uh, and do that stuff. So, yeah, man, we got a lot of stuff going on for that, for the, uh, this year. I'm just like my mind, I'm just like kind of brain fog and everything, but, uh, again, kind of wrapping up and going back uh, to what I was saying about before, New New Year, same you. Do you don't don't feel like you have to do this? And you know, it's the same thing. People go to the gym and do all this stuff and blah blah. blah. Do what you got to do for you. Stay motivated, but keep going. If you drop off at January twenty fifth, then what the fuck was the point of all this? I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and blah blah blah. You're lying to yourself and everybody around you. Just save yourself that and don't say dumb shit. Just keep doing. You already know what you're gonna do in your mind. Your actions already speak and everything. My actions were, you know, again over the thing. I don't stop. I just again. I turned off communication for customers. Any customers that happen to be watching this, I turned off communication because there's literally nothing I can do for it over the time frame because everything is closed, everything is shut down. So what am I going to do? Email who? I mean, so I mean, I'm working on what I'm working on what I got in my shop. So if I can't got the parts, can't work. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is closed to you. So I don't make magic. I don't pull shit out of my ass and get feepy at all this shit, man. So a lot of people, again, for that reason, I will say also to my customers and clients out there who watch, having to watch everything thank you guys because you guys do not bother me um there's some guys that get into the bother phase and what happens from there we don't work together anymore man because after i get done you're going to go do your other shit and go somewhere else you, i don't work for anybody out there I, I run a business i provide a service but i don't work for you all right so with that being said man a lot of stuff going on man i know who i am i know what i'm doing i know i'm doing cool shit I don't need people out there to validate that. The numbers obviously don't say that I'm doing cool shit, but you know, and if you see that and see the numbers are low, don't assume that again, let's go back. Let, let's, let's, let's go. Let's like, I mean, again, you know, you go over your whole thing, man. I'm a combat vet. I've been in Iraq three times. Um, I haven't been on any foot raids, but I mean, I've been doing convoys. I've, I've got my location hit by enemies. I've seen the fucking dudes, whites in the eyes, been close enough to them. Um, I'm combat certified, you know what I'm saying? The combat is different. I was outside the wire, um, getting hit by IDs, getting shot at, all that stuff, man. You know, any one of those 40 plus missions I did could have been my last. Then you take all that experience, right? You take all that being from Baltimore and you come here in Japan. And that's why I am like I am, man. Like I survived combat. I survived Baltimore. I'm in my eighth year business. You ain't, you ain't coming off the fucking street. You're coming off the sideline telling me what the fuck I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no other fucking business owner in Japan been in combat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as that, I mean, Seth at Witchcom, he's, he was a ranger. He's been in combat, but he, he's shut down operations, things like that. I'm talking about mainland. I mean, I, I'm not in Okinawa, so I can claim mainland. I mean, claim, claiming things is how you boost your business up and do things like that. All right, so I am the only, you know, American shop now, you know, with Seth moving on. I'm the only American performance tuning shop in, in Japan. You know what I mean? Until somebody else corrects me out there or feels a need to say but this, this, and this, I guarantee you, tell them, tell those guys to show you their, your, their tax placard. Tell them guys to show you your tax, your tax, uh, documents. Guarantee you they can't show you. Tell them to show you how many Yoshushas they got from this week. I guarantee you they can't show you that because they're, they're not paying taxes. They're here doing some other shit. How are they in Japan? I don't got nothing to do with that stuff, man. But, you know, I mean, um, I know what I do. I know what I'm, I know my value, my worth. So nobody's going to belittle that. You're not going to say things to me and out of line in terms about me getting back at you because I fear the backlash of the community of, of being standing up for myself. Like I don't bully nobody and you're not going to fucking bully me. And if we can, and, and the biggest thing too is if you want, I mean, if you want to fight, I can fight too. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, that's, so that, that's the dynamic of, 
when you're physically imposing on people, physically, and you got your mental straight, you're a threat to people, man, because the only thing they could do is do stuff while you're not present. Like, I mean, one thing, I got cameras all around my shop, but, like, if somebody decided to get fucking bold and let's say they wanted to steal some stuff or fucking vandalize or arson or something like that, it's all on tape. It's all on tape on the cloud. And even if the cameras get burnt down, it's on a cloud digital. So I find out who the fuck it is and I'll, we'll, you'll get dealt with and everything. So, you know, I mean, that's that's like leaning more for it because in Japan, everybody kind of really stays with yourself. But I do think about stuff like that and to protect myself and my assets and stuff like that. I have cameras, alarm sensors all over my shop. Like I got like a little invisible Fort Knox here. That way I can know what's going on at all times. Anywhere in the world, I got a Wi-Fi signal. I can see my shop. I can see inside my shop. I can see what's going on. I got my company running. I run all stuff. I was talking companies, they're on spot on. And there's a little, there's the I was shack. It's like right there about like 10 minutes from my shop. So if anything goes on, they're here. So I got, you know, I'm, I'm pretty protected, man. Our stuff is protected. Um, I got a lot of money into security to make sure stuff is good to go. Um, so again, man, you might, some people might say, oh, it's a new year, man. He seems negative. Like it's not negative, man. It's just, I'm passionate about what I do. I ain't got time for bullshit. I don't got time to put stuff out. I got to pay what I got to pay. I owe who I owe. Everybody owes somebody out there. Don't act like you know. You, I, owe, I owe who I owe, um, and those people know who they are, and they know they are working towards get taken care of. It, you know what I mean. So nobody's ever been like, hey man, you know what I mean. I see you buy nobody because they know I'm buying shit or doing stuff for a, a particular reason. There's a reason why all my fucking cars don't run because I'm not putting money into them because I'm I like literally got my my D1 car back online. I literally got that back online because. I had a, a bunch of spare parts and I got that up and running. Now I did, you know, whatever it took. I, I put some new pistols and stuff into the uh, RB26 that I'm about to sell. S13, I'm actually putting the OS 13 up for sale um, and some other stuff, man, because I want to get something else and move to another level with things. And with that, you know, you want to compete and do things and guys who are drifting and stuff like that. You know, you, even if you don't fucking like an LS or like whatever, and you got to run whatever, you got to run whatever stays together. It keeps you on the track to compete. Even if you don't fucking like LSs, you don't like this, you don't like that. You gotta run what you gotta run, man. So again, I had I got a lot I've had a lot of luck with RB twenty sixes at a certain power level. But when you, I notice you go to other certain power level, then stuff starts breaking a little bit more and it ain't and it ain't got nothing to do with the fucking bill of block, it ain't got nothing to do with this, it ain't got nothing to do with that. It's just mechanics. The two J and the one J just are smoother engines. And this is coming from a guy that's built a lot of RBs, have run a lot of RBs successfully. And been kind of token as RB guy when I'm not. I mean, I just like the engine. But I like other different, a lot of different engines. I don't care for SRs. I, I like the KA. I like the CA. I like the FJ. I just don't like the SR20. It's just not my, I don't like the way it sounds. I don't like the way it smells. Like, I don't like the way you got to use RTV on everything. I don't like the, the, I don't like a lot of things about the engine, but that's my fucking opinion. So do you out there and everything. So that's the one thing, man. I, I, I'm prime about standing my, I stay in my lane. Um, I don't come out of it, you know what I mean? And I see what I got to say when I got to say it. Um, so like one thing is like when people come into, come into your lane or whatever, 2024 or 2025 or whenever the fuck you're going to be the new you, when people come into your lane, put them back into their fucking lane and don't feel bad about it. Like I'm not gonna let people come up to me and say, you should be doing this, doing that. Like motherfucker, look what, 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 like, what about what I have done? Have you bought any of my shoes? Have you bought any of my wheels? Have you bought any of my suspension? What about the shit I have done, man? So when people say stuff like that, that shit sends me off like quickly and I don't give a fuck, man. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is, man. All this new year, new year, you're going to be the, the same you for, for now and forever until you die. So stop fucking fooling yourself and fooling everybody else and do what you got to do and everything. So I keep it real. I keep it spicy, man. Whatever you want to say, these new words that the people say and shit, I keep it real with myself. And I know what I'm doing. I know how good I am at stuff. I know how bad I am at whatever. And the bad shit I just don't do. I dropped out of college because I couldn't get a major because I fucking failed algebra 101 three times. And had to go to remedial. And it was like, yeah, man, uh, you got to figure this shit out. And I didn't want to figure it out because I just didn't. Once you start getting to the integers and uh, and find, solve for this, I don't fucking solve for what? How much money is in my bank? How much money is not in my bank? How much money I got paying taxes? That's all I need to know. Personally, you know, what I mean, all this other shit, you want to get theory at, you want to be a NASA. That's, you got to do that. If you want to go to NASA, you got to do, you got to do that stuff. I don't want to do that. 
I can tune these cars. I can build these engines. I can make music. I can make graphics. I can do a lot of different things out there that a lot of people can't do. I got a lot of skills. So when you see Panko style, the designs, logos, yeah, I get some some logo bases from uh, my guy Alan, but I've expanded upon that. Um, I actually the little the Momo China here on the front of the shoe, uh, that came Momo China right here. That came from me investing into my 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 wife's uh, my wife's sister daughter. I got her iPad Pro for her, like I think her 18th or 19th birthday, 17th birthday. And within like 10 minutes, she, she drew this. She hand drew that and then we put the Panko style in there. But she drew the girl that that that, that, that was from something. I, it was like, uh, what, uh, $700 or something like that I paid for it. That, you know, and that's on my logo. And that's on my shoe now, man. So that investment. So again, man, I don't do nothing or spend any money without any plans, man. And that time that comes down to my time too. I'm never free for anything. So we say, oh, "Hey, man, you free to do this?" No, I'm I'm there because I want to be there. Or or can I pick your brain? No, you can't pick my brain because I I took that time to learn that shit. So I'm not gonna give you the shortcut to life because I learned that. So I will give people gems and how I flip the money and to flip the money and to flip the money. But that's not like I'm not that you can go out there and find from a, a thousand different people doing the same shit I've done and I've taken some of the road the road uh, road marks from those people to grow my business man so again man um this is going to be the um you know the first podcast of the year I'm not going to promise you weekly stuff because again um if the numbers go up and everything which again I got a lot of stuff out there the, the production is cool enough and um I'm just not going to waste a waste the time if I don't I'm not getting that feedback that's why I've start recycling old videos um, I've done, I pretty much edit, except for the podcast, everything is, as you see, most of every video is edited from my phone because the apps are so good. The phones are powerful now and I don't have to be sitting behind a computer screen. I can do it literally anywhere. So I get all the video and stuff like that. Uh, with the business, uh, when you see stuff and post that stuff is scheduled, like everything is not the day of. So I, when you see something, I could have did that three, four weeks ago. And I just schedule it and everything to get posts up there and ping the internet and things up there to keep you relevant. So this whole thing, man, influencers and blah, 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 man. Like, dude, I'll challenge any of these guys. You know what I mean? I can drive just as good as any of them or better. Um, ain't none of them building anything better than I can build. You know, and I don't need no big ass fucking team around me to do this stuff, man. So insert name for whoever you follow, whatever reason you think they cool, take away the camera. And face to face with those motherfuckers, and I guarantee you'll find out how phony they fucking is. When you look at me and you, and you, and you talk to me, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't cuss as actually, I don't cuss as much, man. But when I talk, I get you know the, the f bombs start to fly and everything. So you know whatever. Uh, but um, you know, take the camera away and then have a face one on one conversation for the, with those guys, and you see how fake they are, man. Um, I, I call it out, man. A lot of people here, like you know my my guy Jared, he rose with a salmon. I don't like, I, I said it, I said it to a few guys and it's not a like, cause I don't know him personally, but I just don't, I don't particularly care for the, 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 or like the, a lot of these guys like Samit and, and I will say like, I've met LZ and talked to him. I didn't feel that when I talked to LZ, man. Um, I was just at the uh, Matsuri. I, I didn't actually talk to Oaks, uh, the Jimmy. I didn't talk to him, but it's just the one had a one brief interaction where, I was going towards a thing. I don't know if he knows me, but I was going towards Nishi, uh, Nishi, and he's like, "Hey, man, uh, it's closed because uh, everybody's leaving." I was like, "Oh, thanks, man." And he's just like, "Hey, no, no problem." I get this that that quick interaction with Jimmy, man, and um, I think I ran. I, I think I'm. I think I maybe ran ran into the Grant guy too. But that quick interaction with the guy Jimmy, it was just like that quick interaction. You could you could see somebody's intention, like just a quick talk. But when I talked to, uh, I, I was, I was, um, this situation happened and I was like keeping on names, but fuck it. I, uh, uh, Matt Hogan was here for his little stint and we were at, um, we were at down at, uh, we were at Nishi course and then I'm talking, rapping on Matt that was in the rain and everything. Just about some stuff about like, uh, cause he was, Matt was kind of getting into the point where he was, he was seeing that what he thought Japan was, wasn't what it was. And I was like, Hey man, I told you like, I've been here at that point. He had just only been here for like a month or so. And I've been here for at that point, you know, 14 and a half years. And, um, you know, when you see stuff on TV and blah, blah, when you get there, you notice like it's it's not what it, it seems, man. The, when nobody's at the track, there's no environment there, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, Sammy fucking pulls up and he just like, you know, straight up jumps in the middle of our conversation. and just, hey, Matt, hey, Matt, and this. And it's totally didn't look at me for about like 10 minutes. And I maybe he was thinking I was going to be like, hey, Sammy, blah. You know, but and, and and you can share whatever you know, whatever we're, whatever. 
uh, it was just the way he kind of, you know, that first impression, that thing, you know, I think it's true and it's not true because you can kind of not show somebody what you want to show them and then they think that what it is. So that's not a good rule of thumb, but a little bit, you can take that. So for about the first 10 minutes, I didn't say anything to him. And, um, and then he says something to Matt. He's talked to Matt. Then he's like, Oh, you're, Oh, you're the pink star guy. I'm like, yeah, obviously, you know, of me a little bit. And then on the stream, I, I was uh, watching it back and everything. Cause it was just, I want to see how I played out. And then he pulls away and he say, Oh, he's actually, he's actually pretty cool. Which means he already had heard some bullshit out there from somebody that I wasn't cool or whatever, which I don't give a fuck because if any man out there or any woman out there is spreading information that they ain't talking to you directly in your face about and giving it to you, it's bullshit. They're a coward and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So all these guys here in Masawa, they say what they want to say. I got guys here in fucking Masawa who go five hours down the road to go to another guy because he's getting top 16s in, in Formula Drift and that that's more valid than what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So take it for what you want to take it. it. It is what it is. It's out there in the, in the environment. And anybody who want to talk to me, come check me, whatever, I get with me. You got my, my phone numbers out there, my emails out there. So again, like I said before, if it ain't coming to somebody physically wanting to harm you, it ain't about nothing, man. It's, it's a bunch of bullshit and stuff out there. And, and, and it's, 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 I, I jive with people because I jive with Alan at, at Bridge Moto and, and different people out there because I jive with them and I see what they are and who they are and what they do. And I don't jive with people because of certain things, because of how they then, how they act and out there and blah, blah, blah. And my name gets around and all these other people. I'm like, dude, if you, if you hear from me, it doesn't matter, man. So take that forward going into 2029 or whatever you want to go to that, you know, I mean, if you got questions or anything, questions or answers or, or you want questions concerns about pinko style donald jackson jr how i operate things you can get with me and i'll talk to you candidly no holes barred and we'll get it done man so again i just want to use this first podcast for the first time of year to clear up stuff to reintroduce myself to people who didn't know me for a long time family members who maybe just found the channel friends who maybe just weren't the back in and i will not re- accept re- i will not accept refund requests for people who for whatever reason you lost your account blah blah blah. now you deleted me because you were fucking hating on some shit you were jealous or whatever and that's why you deleted me save that other shit for somebody else man so i don't reaccept friend requests no matter what and uh you know stuff like that so i don't for me for me personally the social media shit that ain't no fucking like all oh, that's online no that's real life that's just an extension of your real life so if you act like you act online to me that's that's right in my face so when you're talking to me on the messenger and you give me that little fucking dumb thumbs up emoji that means pretty much fuck off you know what i mean so that's what i take it so when i see you next time out and about and even if it's four years from now don't did you remember that like do you i message you i met i mailed you and, 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 you know, it is what it is. Why don't you collab with this guy? Because I already fucking tried to collab with that guy. He wants to be number one gaijin in the fucking, in Japan. You know what I'm saying? Like all these guys, remember this, man. You know, for all these guys that are saying who ain't doing what, social media, blah, blah, blah. Remember this. I'm a performance shop owner in the industry in Japan. These guys are covering the industry. They're following this shop. They're following this guy. They're doing this thing. I am, uh, automotive inch i'm in, in the automotive engineering community my wheels you know my suspension fucking shoes right here all this stuff going on man like i'm in industry now you know and, and it's like weird like say you're in the industry you're the guy you're the guy on the box and say take two professional for install i'm the professional that's wild you know what i mean to be that guy and i did it without going to uti go go figure <laughs> and i don't have a single ASC certification go figure because if you think you need that, then you need that. I don't. So again, man, very spicy episode number two, 13, first of the year. Um, you know, I mean, people take it how you want to take it. I'll never change myself. I'm going to be who I'm going to be. And, um, and obviously, man, it, it's, it's more so the, the temperature and the ops tempo of this podcast is because some, there's some stuff going on, man. And like, you know, this is a good therapeutic thing as I'm talking and thinking about some stuff I got going on and everybody want to act like, you know, life is grand and great. Like, you know, yeah, man, you know, I wasn't in an earthquake that just happened on the first day, first goddamn day of the year. You know, I wasn't an airplane that swiped the other airplane, you know, on the second damn day of the year in Japan. I got life, health, my family is, is good, man. And, and, but I like to make it, I might like their life, their life is good, but I like to make their life better. And, and that's the result of that meaning, you know, I'm not gonna allow people out there to waste my time, BS me 
and and stuff like that, man. So again, man, again, uh, anybody who happens to watch that don't support, I don't know why you do this, but you people are out there. You won't spend a, sing, a single dime on my company. You won't promote anything, blah, blah, blah. And it's not going to say, oh, well, you should do this. You should be nowhere approachable. And I, no, I, I know what the fuck I got to do to manage whatever I got to manage because I made enough money doing that. And I got customers out there like my guy, Emmanuel Brown, who spends a lot of money into my company and he has no problems. I got my guy, Ben Collins, who spends a lot of money into my company and he has no problems. I got my guy uh, uh, who she's not here anymore. I've had uh, uh, Ray Hernandez spend a lot of money into my company and he has no problem. And and so I got all these guys that spend a lot of money and have no problems. Then you got like I like one guy of the R thirty four build. And he has a problem because he didn't want to relinquish control of his build. Spent a lot of money in my shop, but it was more on parts. It wasn't so much labor because I was actually undercutting things at that time. And I told this guy that if I really quoted how I really quoted, he would have paid me seven K on top of what he paid me. And um and I I blocked that fucking dude, man, because uh, there was a such that was R34 V spec that I did such a good build man but the fucking dude was such a tool man and he was a fucking annoying annoying voice and everything around him man and I just um he tried to email me a couple years ago for something and I just fucking blocked him and I don't know what it is I don't even care if something happened to the car man what the fuck ever man but that guy was just a tool and he was just one of those guys where he knew every fucking thing in the book but he's some he didn't have his tools to make it happen like nah bitch because you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. So when you go towards these shop owners, don't say because, oh, I don't got. No, you, it's, you don't, it's not time. It's because you cannot fucking do it. And that's why you come to us, the shop owners who can do it, who want to take on your job and can make it happen. So don't give us this excuse of, oh, man, I would do it, man. But all my tools here, like, because I've done it with less. And I know other guys there who have done it with even lesser. So I thought there. So, man, keep saving the bullshit. You know, go somewhere else, man. Life is short, 40 years old, not getting younger. Ain't got time for your shit. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to take my shit and put it on you. You know what I mean? So respect that. And hopefully you do it the opposite way, man. So again, very spicy again, two, two, number 213. And um, you'll see it when you see it, man. You know, so you'll see the podcast when you see him. Uh, you know, so, you know, take care. Do what you got to do, man. So this is going to be Dynasty. I know from South Japan, Pinko Style, Podcast Studio. See you guys later. Peace.